Hey guys, how's it going? Owners here, and welcome to a new Assetto Corsa video where we are going to play again with the Oculus Rift uh, DK2 right here. And we are going to drive around the Spa for Gresham track. I only did one DK2 video so far, and I think I need to make more uh, because, well, the video got quite a good um, response, so you know, why not make more? Uh, last time we went for the KDM crossbow around Silverstone International, I believe. Anyway, we're now going to drive something which is a bit more hardcore. Uh, we're going to drive the Lotus 98T uh, with a big ass turbo around the spa from our shop. But I think I already said that, so uh, enough explaining. Let's put this thing on and then do some laps. Alright, here we go. Let's uh, center ourselves. Uh, there, that's good. Let's get the mouse out of the way. There we go. So, well, this is the cockpit, and once again, with the DK2 on, um, your first uh, thing, which you, the first thing which you really think is that you know there goes a lot, a lot of details into uh, these cockpits. Um, for example, here, every the, the seat belts, there's some kind of wire going down here. Um, here uh, on the right hand side where I'm looking at right now uh, is uh, the, the, the gearbox, the transmission. Down there should be pedals, but I cannot see them I believe. Maybe I'm blind. Mm, usually you see them, but not in this car I believe. But everything here works, um, the dials. Uh, but then you also notice like how low you actually are to the ground. Um, especially in this cockpit, you feel like very, very surrounded, you know. Uh, then the 3D model here, the style looks amazing. It, all, everything looks completely, you know, touchable, uh, which is, uh, well, pretty insane, of course. Um, yeah, you can just look over there. Um, it, it's very cool. It, it really is very nice and uh, it gives a very cool effect. Um, but let's go out on track. But first I'm going to uh, clean the lenses already because, uh, well, cannot really see that well. Okay, so we're good to go, at least I am, so well, one thing I know is that this thing does, well, like to be really, really aggressive. Somehow my pedals are not working, let's, uh, let's have a look into that, be right back guys. Okay, well, I think we're there, yeah we are. My pedals were unplugged for some reason, but they are plugged now again, so I think we're good to go. Now, I know that this thing is really, really brutal, so I have to throw uh, the turbo, as you can see there right now, at 40%. We will go up to 100%, but not now. Uh, by the way, I do believe that the turbos of these engines were so powerful that in qualifying they, they ran 100%, but in the race itself not, because after a few laps, the engine would just just die on the on the pressure coming from that turbo. They used to have like 1300 brake horsepower, which is of course crazy. Wow! And immediately, I can feel the sense of speed really, really well. It's pretty astonishing. You're sitting pretty low to the ground. Everything goes by you. Just know quite click quickly look at that great sunshine there and the sense of speed is incredible at the moment look at the sunshine in the mirror there just entering the corner and it sticks like glue it's not really down the straights where you get the best uh, sensation of the speed, but it's really in the corner. Here we go, Puhan. A bit of an oversteering moment. Look at that sunshine again, the shadow there. Very, very nice. Wow. I wonder what it will feel like when we go uh, through uh, Blanchimon. Don't know if it's flat out in this car. I 
do think so because it has it, it feels quite good but we'll see here we go yeah easily 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 flat out and then the bus stop chicane slow it down wow it feels great to just look over the the edge here of the car Sorry, mouse was in the way there. It, it really is very, very nice. And, well, I also feel very comfortable, I must say. I don't get motion sick or anything like that. Look at that, you almost... You, it almost feels like you are pressing. Uh, into what your seat it's just your brain gets tricked and it's all an illusion but it, it's crazy really this corner here that, that corner feels very quick Again, the sunshine there. There it is. Very nice to see. How does the back of the car actually look like from here? Well, you can see the wheel there. I think you can e even see the uh, uh, the brake duct. Let me have a look again. Uh, it's not the brake duct, is it? I don't think so. Don't think it is. No, that's not the brake duct, I believe some kind of air intake though wow that felt a little bit weird got a little bit dizzy from doing that so let's stop doing that actually it's no problem driving with 40% for, uh, turbo feels very very smooth but once you get up to like 70% it's crazy getting on the power it really is back end really wants to step out and again here oh. A rouge is is crazy with the rift. Blanchimont not that much, which is weird because Blanchimont is uh, very very quick. But I guess with the uh, with the height change in a rouge, you get a much better sense and effect on your body. Well, of course it's an illusion. Don't get me wrong, but it just feels so real. We will go to a uh, 60% oh, turbo of the Rouge here. Let's go again. See if we can get in flat out. Maybe we will crash, but let's try. Here we go. Oh, yeah, flat out easily. But wow, what a nice, nice effect it has uh, on your brain. It really tricks your brain. There we go. You can see the turbo there, the dial of the turbo. Getting a bit more turbo now. Here we go. sound there I just starts to get aggressive now you need to be careful with the turbo kick you know it suddenly kicks in there and you can really uh, well you can hear it you know you can hear the turbo but sometimes the kick from the turbo can come a little bit unexpected so you need to pay attention to that but immediately the cars feel car feels quite a bit faster and remember this is only 60% turbo but back to the rift. What an experience this is. I mean, sitting in a car is really nice, but for me, the best feeling is when you drive in an open wheeler. Look at that, the speed is incredible now. <laughs> I'm not even at 100% yet. 100% uh, turbo. Ah, I, can, I can drive this all day long, really. On Shimon again. Everything feels a lot quicker now. But it's only 20% turbo, which made a difference. Made a mistake that I couldn't get it in, uh, in gear. 
Let's try a 70. Here we go. Remember, it can do a lot more. We will go to 100 soon. Just need to get a few for this. Because with turbo 100%, it's so easy to spin. Okay, a rouge, 70%. Here we go. Oh, oh, that is so quick. Boom. Ah, that is that is insane. That is completely insane. That is so unbelievable. There's a little bit of grass there coming through the car, but nonetheless. Can we watch a quick replay of that? Wow, that felt really, really quick. Uh, shame that the replay is not really that great. Mm, sorry about that one, guys. Uh, I pressed the wrong button on my wheel. You have one button on your wheel with the DK2. Uh, one button is for going back to the menu, which I did there, which I pressed, but I thought I pressed the reset car button, but it wasn't, so apologies for that. We'll have to start all over again, but... Wow. I think it's possible to go with 70% uh, turbo through there and full throttle. But to be safe, let's not do that. But... Wow, the, the sense of speed is awesome. It is, uh, I would say, perfect. I would, say, I could say that it's perfect. Uh, it's the, it's the curb there, really, which you uh, don't really want to touch. And my intention is to not touch it. But the car sticks so well to the track, so much downforce. Usually a little bit more than I expect, so I do touch that curb. Okay, still at seventy percent. Just keep on going. There's the turbo. I think the uh, tires need to get warmed up a little bit now. Feels a little bit on the steering. Wow, what a lot of power. It really is incredible. Buhon here is... Uh, I can, I can take that corner much quicker, but as I said, I just do not expect that there is so much downforce. It feels so real as I go off track. It feels so real that I, my mind just doesn't expect the car to, to grip. Like, no, uh, 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 nah, it's, it's unexplainable. <laughs> Like, it goes against the, the things which I know from real life, you know. I mean, cars don't grip like this, only race cars can, but it is so real that I compare it to a, to a real car, which is obviously not the case. I keep messing up the bus stops again here. Guys, are we ready for 100%? I think I am, or well, maybe I'm not. We'll test it out, we'll find it out. Here we go. So qu quickly through the gears now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. We're revving out already. It's a shame that I cannot change the setup with the Oculus Rift. There's no uh, option for that. See how much difference that turbo makes? Nice sunshine again in the mirror. Okay, here we go, Puhan. Wow, it grips just, just perfect, perfectly. It's pretty, pretty insane. Just need to be careful with your throttle inputs, especially out of slow corners. As I said, this, this, this kick from the throttle can sometimes 
surprise you a little bit. But it really feels very, very quick. I wonder if the engine will be damaged if I keep it at 100% for too long. Doesn't seem to get any damage right now. I don't see any smoke or something like that in my mirror. That's better. Slowly on the throttle. There we go. And again, up to our rouge. The stride flat out again. Here goes nothing. Uh, looks pretty scary, you know, going uphill there. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Full fell. Wow. Very, very impressive. Look at that. It's really nice. I can feel the car here getting a little bit loose usually on entry uh, corner we just went through I think it's a corner with no name let's give this six a bit of oversteer on the corner entry there I think six gear is the way to go though at least with 100% of turbo it is this left hander here also has a great sense of speed really Also need to work so so hard. Um, I mean, it still is a car which has this uh, this eight shifter and not the pedals here. So it's pretty hard work. I think uh, Ferrari came with uh, the pedal shifters or something like that in '89. Don't know if it's Ferrari or whether it was another team, but I'm pretty sure that the pedal. Uh, Shifters introduced uh, were introduced in F1 in 89. Correct me if I'm wrong though. Let's do one more lap on the 100% throw. Here we go, or 100% turbo. Excuse me. Look at everything just flying by, incredible. Hitting the curb there, hitting this curb, bit of throttle, and then onto this one. Bit of, bit too much throttle on the corner exit there. And again, pull on. Here we go. Just wanna lift before the corner. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. It feels very, very quick. It's unbelievable. I love the sound coming from the engine. When you do a downshift, so I messed up my gearing there. It went a little bit too quick for my brain there. I already went in gear, but I forgot to press the clutch down. So much stuff you need to do, but it's very, very nice. Once again, Mon Chimon on the outside curb. Look at the sunshine there as well. Let's go back to uh, about 70%, I guess.
I imagine right now the walls are, you know, it's it's far from Rashad, you know, not the most narrow track. Uh, but imagine a track like Monaco, you know, where all everything just passes by you, and then this car, it's uh, kind of insane. Even that, even thinking about it is, is insane. It really is. Again, the engine there, probably popping some frames or flames, not frames, flames. quick that was super quick you know with 70 percent throttle you do notice that you're carrying a lot of uh, well uh, a lot less speed down the straights so you can brake later and stuff like that take more speeds into a, a corner like Wuhan you just can brake a little bit later oh what a nice experience more, one, one more lap after this one, 100% turbo and that's it. What great, great detail. We'll have a look at the detail after I have done and uh, completed the next lap. There goes the engine, right in the middle of a rouge. Yeah, I can see some smoke now. It sounds like a plane. Look, just listen. Sounds like a like a plane. So yes, indeed, the engine can be killed with 100% of turbo. Wow, that is very very impressive. Where's the smoke? Oh, it's already gone. It's a shame. Do we want to see one more lap? Let's do it. You know, I, I'm having so much fun, so why not? There we go, that was the right button. Wow. But, on the other hand, the turbo is, is so important. Let's have a look if the recording is still going, by the way. Yeah, it is. The turbo is so important that when you run a 10% of the you know turbo's uh, capacity it is pretty slow wow well, slow you know what i mean slow work i mean i'm i'm in fourth gear right now wow the mirror there well i i, I never paid attention to that before you saw a roost there you saw a great change of height so that see fourth gear right now full throttle but when I go again to 100%, see how much of a difference that makes? It's pretty insane, isn't it? So yeah, the turbo really, really is important. I mean, it is just a couple of uh, hundred uh, brake horsepower, you know? That's the difference we're talking about. Such a nice sound when you uh, come off the throttle. You also get it when you blip the throttle. I'm trying to do some heel toe braking at uh, well the best I can because it is pretty hard. As I said, you do a lot of stuff in this car, and then uh, including heel toe braking is not really that easy. But you can sometimes hear that when I blip the throttle on a downshift, it makes this aggressive, uh, uh, yeah, aggressive noise sound. And look at the shadow here. I mean, it's astonishing. But this car, I wouldn't say it's a baby right now with 10% turbo, but well, I'm, I'm gonna call it, um, um, a that, there we go, a sleeping beast. And when you go to 100%, the beast wakes up and, uh, and yeah, it just turns into a, a mad 
beast. That's my explanation. <laughs> I'm sure you know what I mean though. And that's the point. I cannot see a rouge from here on, can I? I don't think so. Okay, here we go. One more lap. Let's uh, hope that the engine doesn't blow up. Here we go. Too much, too much. Yeah, there was too much. For sure. You see that? Then with 100% uh, turbo, as I said, the beast comes in to play. Just giving a little bit of throw between these two corners here, and you're off. Don't have any suspension damage, I think. I mean, my wheel is pointed straight still, so we'll see whether. We can keep on going, yeah, it does look like it, so let's finish the lap nonetheless. Have a bit more fun. Not like that. That was rubbish. Sorry, guys. I apologize, but the beast, as I said, woke up, and that is some suspension damage for sure. As the... As the tire hit the wall there. Let's crash. It's pretty insane. It's pretty scary when you actually, you know, go straight, uh, point straight into to a wall. It really is, and uh, that that just shows, you know, how how great or yeah, what kind of experience it really is and. The realism, realism is is so super nice, and I don't know. The, the colors seem really, really good with the DK2 always. Like the contrast between the colors is awesome. One downside still, in my opinion, is the resolution. I mean, I can see into the distance pretty, you know, pretty clear, but it feels like you're watching through a fence which has a thousand holes in it. Uh, it's that kind of effect only when you look into the distance though because from close up everything is is, is fine um, So that's why you see a lot of detail in in the cockpit like this um, But yeah, I'm, I'm sought out really it is uh, such a nice experience and Let's have a little bit of a look here. That is my lap time probably Fuel. Oh, we were running a lot of fuel. looks like it um See if we can spot any damage. So I got out of the range of the camera there. Positional tracking once again. And again. <laughs> I cannot really spot any damage other than this glass, obviously. Wow, that looks very, very cool. Pretty much 3D, you know. Imagine seeing all of this in 3D. Well, then, then you know what it is like. And it was indeed definitely not a brake duct over there. Side pot here. Say pot there. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. As I said, a fantastic experience. I really like it. I'm definitely going to do more of an open wheeler. Maybe the uh, Lotus Axis uh, S125. Or maybe the, uh, what is it, 1975, 1977 Ferrari. We'll see. But anyway, I should race a Monaco though with an Oculus Rift. That's going to be epic. I want to thank guys for watching, if you have enjoyed the video I would appreciate a like, and that is pretty much it, see you guys next time, and goodbye.